Okay, we're in the downstairs bathroom combination uh, heating system room, uh, utility room, and uh, the furnace is, is actually a fairly newer model. It's about a 90% efficient furnace. You see the PVC pipe for the exhaust and the intake. Pretty good system. Looks like the ductwork has been redone, and I think you know that that's something a person should always look at is does it look like enough ductwork for the home and uh, from what we can see here, it looks like it's been sized okay. The thing that happens when they put these type of systems in, and if you want to look at the water heater over here, is that water heaters with these natural draft, which means there's a, a hood on here, depends on, on its own natural pressures to vent. This is the vent hood. This works by pulling air in, the, the burner's at the bottom, and this works to make it vent. It's pulling air in through here runs up through this through this metal vent and goes to the chimney and out. And that, I noticed the chimney is lined all the way down with this three inch vent and the three inch vent actually doesn't meet any of the venting tables so it's, it's not actually up to code anyway. And in a small room like this when you get the fans running it's going to be pulling that air back out of this area and, and the, the, exhaust, uh, the exhaust gases instead of going up the vent like they were meant to are going to be spilling in here. It, there's a little problem because there's a long almost horizontal run in the vent that comes all the way across goes back up over here and it actually comes in and it's laying up in here right on the wood. Now there's no clearance, there should be at least you know some clearance for any combustibles that you want to be aware of. Uh, so right there there's a problem. The other problem with the water heater is that, like I said this is a combination bathroom utility room. Now we've got an exhaust fan here, we've got the dryer over here behind you and with those two running and this door shut, this small room, there's no way that water heater is ever going to vent right and I think in this in this case you better be aware that you're probably going to have to change out the water heater. Uh, these these kind of systems just do not work. So that's something to, to really be aware of. That it's, a, it's a serious safety problem. We, we can get carbon monoxide spilling out of the water heater and somebody in here taking a shower it could be a real problem. Okay, one thing we want to mention about water heaters and uh, water usage is to make sure that down uh, on your temperatures you keep those down below about 120 uh, anything over that and you're wasting energy uh, most most household things can be done with water that's 120 degrees the other thing we want to make sure is in the showers sinks uh, that you use low flow uh, faucet aerators and shower heads wherever you can uh, toilets when you replace them will always pretty much be low flow now. Uh, any, you want to just make sure you're conserving water and that'll, that will save a lot on your energy bills also. One good thing that I did notice on the furnace, it looks like it's been serviced. I always like to see a service record posted someplace that shows when the last time it was cleaned and, and tuned. Furnaces should always be serviced once a year. So this one looks like it's been done. Another thing about the heating system I wanted to mention was that uh, it's good to see they've installed a programmable thermostat which they can set so that the furnace and, and air conditioning system do not run when there aren't people at home. Uh, that can show a real savings uh, in your fuel usage.